In today's Park Spotlight, we are going on one of the most impressive and magical Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory experiences in first person. This is a true Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory experience with a twist as it takes place as a sort of sequel where Mr. Wonka himself has passed on and now Charlie has taken over the factory. So in some senses, this is Charlie's chocolate factory while staying true to all the nostalgia elements then turned into a theme park. This is an episode you absolutely don't want to miss out on, so stay tuned and we'll get right on into it. Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're looking at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, created by Gabriel the Fuzz, and here they say, Welcome to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. The great man himself has passed on, and Charlie Bucket has taken over the new as the new owner of the factory. He's thrown open the doors and is recruiting new employees to come work with the factory. And that is you. There's a lot to see, so come on in and experience all the wonders contained within these brick walls. Please stay on the path and follow the safety protocols. We don't want you to end up like those children did back in the day. Anyways, we're excited to welcome you to the Wonka family. Thanks to Johnny and the Channel 5 mods and the community for being so supportive and giving me an excuse to push my creativity in the game. Keep an eye out for the portraits of the kids, which were an excuse to include some of the old original art. The creator has then gone on to give me a very detailed description of where to go and why and what to do. Now, as mentioned in the previous video, I accidentally used the wrong mic to record this episode. So unfortunately, I had to throw out the recording and we're redoing it here. So you won't be getting my first impressions, but I should hopefully know the route a little bit better and we can hopefully navigate through the park better the second time. So let's delay no further and get Get right on into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at this beautiful Willy Wonka entrance. I love what you did with your fence work, your lights, and the colors here, and the big W here for the Wonka factory. There's some sensational stuff going on from the outside of the factory, as you would have seen from the B-roll. And uh, I was told to read this letter, so let's get into it. Willy Wonka Enterprises LTD. Dear recruits, as the new owner of Willy Wonka Enterprises, it is my distinct honor to once again open the doors to the Steam Candy Manufactory. I'm excited to bring new reforms to this company, and I'm focused on bringing Willy Wonka Enterprises up to code to meet the standards of the modern world. As such, I have repreciated the indentured laborers to the native Lupa land and eager to welcome Welcome you, our new workforce, into the Wonka family. Please be aware that the safety of the utmost importance here at Willy Wonka. Stay on the pass at all time until you are tr your training is complete. I was extremely lucky to inherit this factory, but my four compatriots found different fate. In memory and as a reminder of the consequences, should you not follow safety protocol, I have en I have erected memorials to them within the factory. Let this be a reminder that at Wonky. At Wonka, safety always comes first. Please be reminded that by crossing the threshold into the factory, you agree by the following terms. Whereas the management cannot be held responsible for any accidents, incidences, loss of property or life or a limb. And whereas for damage caused by lightning, earthquakes, floods, fire, frost, flippery, and sort kind, kind of conditions, consequently, the undersigned take responsibility. Whereas during the terms of the agreement, you become and remain at sole cost and expense at your own request a member in the good standing of any then properly designated labor unions, guilds, or other organizations as defined and determined under the applicable law pertaining persons performing services of the type and character to be performed here, here under. No nothing herein contained shall be deemed to require violation of any written agreement executed between us and and such labor union, guild, or other organization which may be in effect at the time of the execution of this agreement, and wherever there is conflict between the provisions of that agreement and other, their labor shall prevail. But in such events, the provisions of the agreement shall effectively shall be curtailed and limited only to the events necessary to prevent compliance with such payments of any additional compensation, it shall be at minimum that this provision there under. Most sincerely, Charlie Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> owner and CEO of Willy Wonka Enterprises. Woo! Well, that was fun. This is incredible. Here we have with a singing quartet here, and we are going to be taking off on the, uh, what are they called? <laughs> the Looper Movers. Looper Mover! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, should hopefully one be arriving here any second. And there we go. 
Oomper Loofer Mover, and we have been asked to look forward. Guess facing forward. Wow. Look how incredible this Chocolate River area is. The colors are sensational. Loving the purples, the blues, the greens. So much vibrance in here. It looks and feels very much like a Willy Wonka factory. One of the coolest indoor park areas I have ever seen. And we've been instructed to go from ride to ride in a particular order. So we're gonna get off here. And now we are moving into the Chocolate River area. A classic scene from the movie, like I said earlier, it's holding true and nostalgic to the original while also making strides in a new direction of safety and Charlie is doing his own things. Augustus Gloop, I think he drowned in the Chocolate River or something, <laughs> I can't remember. Thinking back at the, the Willy Wonka series, it's actually quite horrible. And uh, you do need a young mind like Charlie to come along and change the ways. And what I'm loving about this creation so far is it really does lend aid to being a sequel and adds closure to the story. We get a little bit more, but told in a different way, and I love that. So this is the Wonkatania, and uh, we have to get to the uh, bright boat. Boat two? Here we go. And they want us to ride it like this, which was interesting. Uh, I never ride the boats this way. I usually kind of do an orbit or a track view, but uh, this is kind of nice. It's a little bit more immersive. We get to see all the guests in here, the person steering the ship, even though it's on rails. They just kind of stand there pretending like they're working. Much like any job these days. <laughs> oh, just kidding. So yeah, what I like here, we use the um, the Wampa movers. Wampa, I'm, I'm getting all the words can fix, mix up. Loompa mover. And that was uh, the first ride to take us into the park. And we move directly over to another transport ride. Well, we could have ridden the first ride longer and we can ride this ride longer. We're using them to get to different areas of the park. And that's the first interactive transport ride theme park that we've seen throughout this contest. And it's very, it's very fitting to the Willy Wonka vibe and story. And that is giving you a tour of the park. And both the boat ride and the Loompa Mover give you a different tour. And if we ride them all the way through, which we will, but in sections and in, in parts, you will get a full tour of the whole park. But we get off to check out certain attractions, which we're doing here. All right. And now, if I remember correctly, this is the invention room. And this is where they invented all sorts of crazy different candies. Uh, I remember they invented some crazy strange bubble gum in the original, which is over here. And there's the girl that I blew too big of a bubble and flew away or something. I can't really remember what happened. And uh, I really want to go watch the original Willy Wonka some point tonight or tomorrow, depending on how much time I have here. And then also the sequel with um, Johnny Depp would be kind of fun. I think I enjoyed the original more. And the, the flavored gumballs, Chinese takeout. And here's the champagne. When if you look up, <laughs> you drink the champagne and you float. I, wasn't, wasn't there one kid that like drank too much and he floated too high? And I don't think it was champagne in the original, was it? It's a bubbly drink, I don't know. So that's really cool. You really squeezed in everything into this park, and, and I love it. So now we're entering the nut sorting room. And uh, I guess these little mice here sort through all the nuts. I don't know if that's like a health... Oh, I guess they're squirrels, okay. But it might still be a health hazard, I don't know. Um, all, the, all the squirrels getting their hands on them. Nibbling on a few. And uh, there's our main, uh, main coaster attraction. The <laughs> okay, and I believe we have to ride this one 
This, sh this is such a cool room. Really love this. Okay, we're gonna go into the sorting machine now. And look at that, we got a nice view of the coaster doing things down there. And we head on up. Whoop, whoop. Head on up. And we ourselves get a nice look at the whole sorting room. And I, I gotta say, I'm really impressed by what you did here in the center. Curving all those basic shapes to make this really neat, almost like water slide room for nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and they all funnel down. Uh, if if this was Planet Zoo, you could actually have balls rolling down these tubes and round to here. Uh, that would be really, really cool. So, if we ever get a Planet Coaster 2, I hope they integrate some of those fun physics from Planet Zoo so that we can do things like that. Look at this. These are all the nut sorting holes. Nuts are pouring in. And uh, Ver Veruca Salt... Not sure what happened to her. I think she might have ate a bad nut or something. <laughs> I can't remember. This room is incredible. Oh. Oh. This is her after and before? <laughs> All right, so here's the coaster. Uh, there's a look at all the stats if you'd like to see them. It's green across the board, 1,500 meters in duration. It's a bit of a doozy of a coaster, and I'll cut to it when it's ready. So the, the creator did want us to look forward, but I found that the guests were too tall and kind of took up half the screen. In the original recording, before I had to redo this, whoops, what am I doing? Um, I actually re-rode the coaster in track view, so we're just going to do track view right out of the get-go here. And uh, off we go. <laughs> really incredible ride there. I really love how we get to see all the kind of inner workings and contraptions and behind the scenes stuff of the uh, chocolate factory here. While also going outside and getting a view of the factory itself from a different view. Um, it's just really cool. And I like that everything kind of keeps to the theme of a tour. You know, uh, the, the, the tour rides both transport rides have been sort of like tours around the park and um, the coaster was too. It gave us an even more in-depth look while having extreme factors. And here's the milk mixer. Um, we'll probably go in seat view for this. <laughs> this is so cool. 
And I, I like for this little uh, flat ride, we're outside for this. You get a look at the factory as well. We got a little taste of that from the coaster itself. And look how crazy this is. We got all the cows in line so we can shake the milk out of them. And I guess that's how you make a milkshake. And then they run through these tubes and then boom, squash milkshake. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. All right, uh, so the guide says I have to go to Wonka Vision next. And here's the Wonka Vader. Wonka Vision. <laughs> I love this room. This is my favorite part of the entire creation. This is where they, um, they took a small chocolate bar and, and zapped it large or something. Or was it the other way around? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was like they, they zapped them larger so you get more chocolate. I, I can't really remember, but this bar has got to be the most incredible thing. It looks exactly like a Willy Wonka wrapper bar. And uh, it's just so cool. And the queue is like this dizzy spiral and the guests actually spiral around it. I have no idea how they know how to navigate through it, but, you know, the AI knows what they're doing, so we're just going to follow them and head on in here. Now, I was basically told to basically turn all the reshade settings off, or a few of them, and we're just going to turn it off uh, just in case, you know, we, we don't want to ruin the experience. We want it to be as authentic as possible, and uh, they said they wanted seat two, so let's go. <laughs> Don't get stretched into toffee, guys. Oh, that's great. A, a fun little dark ride. Not a whole lot going on, but it's short and sweet. I like it. Fun little story there. The, the toffee stretcher. And now, where are we going? We got to go back to the boat. And here it is. That is right. And now we get to see the other half of the boat ride so let's do that and i want to do track view going out because this uh area looks so incredible
And it also says here on the last ride back, we get an opportunity to see an Easter egg room that can only be seen from this ride here. So be sure to stay tuned for that. We'll be going back on this loop -a mover right after the Wonka Vi Vader, the Wonka Vader. Sorry, I called it the Wonka Vision earlier. And that should be a fun little surprise. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the Walk of Vader, and this is technically our last ride of the park. And oh, it's at the top. So we'll go on it right now. I think they said something about going on seat 32, to be very, very, very specific. Um, because you get a nice look if we zip through at the secret letters. W, O, and yeah, we can't see it too well. Let's switch perspective. There it is, Wonka. And I like that a lot. The The buildings look so natural. And from a ground level, they just look to be a part of the factory. But from the bird's eye view, it says Wonka. I thought that was super creative, super clever. And we have to just take a second to appreciate the marvel that is this crazy building. Factory, I should say. Um, this is one of the best looking factories I've ever seen in Planet Coaster history. And it's the best looking indoor theme park I have ever seen. And we've seen many, many Willy Wonka creations throughout the years on the channel. I want to say it is also the best Willy Wonka creation ever made. Um, you have a nice blend between the interior, exterior. It's just so incredible to me. Every little detail, contraption, from the lighting to how you've designed the interior spaces and the track rides to give you a full tour of the entire theme park that's all indoors. And we're gonna get back on the people mover and uh, this is where I give my final thoughts apparently according to the creator here. This is the right one. I mean, I've already given some of my thoughts coming down the Wonka Vader, but these are the last um, looks of the park coming back on the Wonk, um, the Loompa Mover. But yeah, this is um, the most incredible detailed indoor park. How you have fit these rooms together and filled the exact 60 by 60 mini park space to get all of this working and you know you don't just have box rooms this is a circular room with circular things in them you have w shaped rooms you have letter shaped rooms i mean like and you've tied it all together to fit the exact specifications required in the mini park contest and there's not a detail missed here in terms of the wonka universe uh, it has everything it's so colorful it's so charming and the cherry on top for this park. Uh, <laughs> it's so crazy. The cherry on top is uh, this room here. <laughs> no, no, no. But this is funny. Um, this is the one hidden room that you only get to see from here. And it is the pink penguin freezer. Gotta give a little shout out to the community there. So funny. And uh, 
The cherry on top for me was the fact that this is a, a true sequel to the Willy Wonka movie series, Willy Wonka stories, I should say, that uh, Charlie is in, in fact in charge now. And this is what it looks like years, years later when Charlie's all grown up. And it very much feels like closure. It feels like closure to me because Willy Wonka was a crazy man. A lot of ch bad things happened to those children. It was almost like a creepy horror story on a peachy level, you know? Uh, and it's just so nice to see it in a different light where Charlie's in charge and safety go comes first. But at the same time, Charlie's gone and amplified that by adding theme parks, roller coasters, tour guides, and you get to see the fun factor still there and the mystery still there the nostalgia is still there with all the little pictures of the the previous kids that had things go wrong with them in the in the in the previous Willy Wonka factories and it's it's all just there but it's done in a new way that fits the story and the lore so perfectly. It's like your own spin on things without breaking the rules of what makes a good Willy Wonka story. It's all here from the trucks to the chocolate bars to everything that you see in the movies. It's just now uh, under the regime of Charlie. <laughs> I love it. And I, again, I just got to say that this exterior here, look how complicated it is. These rooftops, the way they're shaped and they mash into this different shaped one. And this even has, um, it's not just like a perfect cylinder on top. It has these arching rails. You have the letters in here. This is the best looking industrial, you know, kind of sci-fi park um, with tons of vibrant colors. The best indoor park I have ever seen. And again, guys, this is all done on a perfect 60 by 60. I guess this little bit here was excluded. <laughs> But like that gives it some shape and some undulation and, you know, unique angles. It's not a box, even though it all comes together from a bird's eye view as almost a box. Uh, every room that you're in is uniquely shaped. And that is what makes a good indoor theme park. I've had people say to me in the past, should I make an indoor theme park? And I say, no. <laughs> and I've seen indoor theme parks where it's just kind of like a box with a roof on top. And this does not come across that way. I am very impressed at this being the most immersive indoor theme park, the best Willy Wonka representation in on the channel so far over five years and um, the best factory. It has it all. I have no complaints, no critiques. Actually, one small critique. I think it could have used a little bit more ambient music, but it was 50-50. There were areas where it was bustling and there was areas where it had ambience here, but then there were a few areas where it didn't. Um, so maybe like just a few areas could have used that little bit of music or ambience. That would have been a very, very, very small critique uh, considering how much high praise from me so far. You gotta find something to improve on for next time. But this to me is almost a nearly flawless project. Really good stuff from Gabriel the Fuzz on Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. What did you guys think? Fire away down in the comments below. Share this video with your friends on social media. Let's get some more views on Gabriel's creation as they have done a wonderful job representing Willy Wonka. I absolutely love this. One of my top favorite creations of the contest so far. High praise and uh, absolutely incredible. Keep up the good work, Gabriel the Fuzz. And uh, that is gonna do it for me in today's episode ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next one bye now